Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thanks for clicking on today's video. So, so many of you guys were asking me to do the fall trends video, the fall 2018 trends. So if you wanna see my fall trends in my edit, my picks, my biggest things to look out for, then please keep watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe down below. And if you're new, welcome. I make new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So I'm so excited to have you here. But with that, let's jump straight into the video. Before I jump into this video, I wanted to share my love for summer 18 and how good it was to me with this Zara Woman's t-shirt that I got like a while back. But I really enjoyed this last summer, but it is time to turn a new leaf. Yeah, get it, my like fall puns. Um, and really immerse ourselves into fall and fall trends. There are so many trends that I wanna talk about. Um, I'm gonna be transporting you to Paris with a beret moment, the classic red lip, no makeup makeup look, and my gorgeous little Louis Vuitton coin purse. So that's like the inspired look today. Fall is coming back with one of the biggest trends that comes back every year. It's the checked print. It's the checked woman. But this time around for fall, we are not afraid to mix and match the red and black together with the greens and the yellow checked print. Think of London 80s punk rock, kind of that look, plus the share from Clueless look together. That is like the, the number one trend that I have been seeing on every single website. I have researched so much about fall 2018 and this was like the number one thing that they saw. It's going to be in your duster coats, your trenches, your skirts, your overall denim dresses. Like it's going to be everywhere in your boots, in your heels. So you're going to be seeing that checked print everywhere. And if you're like me and you don't really wear like the yellow checked sets and that London red checked print doesn't really speak to you. I have a couple of pieces that I did want to share with you that maybe is a little bit easier to wear this print, but not necessarily in those colors. So I've got this pleated skirt, which also pleated skirts are huge for fall. Everyone wears them with tights underneath and a big boot, um, maybe knee high boots or just ankle boots. And last year we saw the Prince of Wales. I think pairing a more understated skirt like this with a brighter top, whether it's like a mustard top or a colorful top, whether it's like these two colors here or even going with like a leopard, I think is a really cute way to dress this piece up. Like I said, if you're not super into the crazy colorful checked, I've got the houndstooth checked um, wide leg trouser from Zara. You guys seen that on my channel before. I've also got this checked cape from Topshop. This was from a couple of seasons ago. My boyfriend got it for me and I love this piece. So capes again are huge for fall. It comes back every season, um, but this colorway, the green with the little beige kind of threaded through, I love with the hints of navy. This with like leather trousers and like a gorgeous black turtleneck is gonna just be everything. I'm so excited to wear this in the fall. And it's crazy how old pieces can be recycled in your wardrobe. So take a look at what you have, whether it's a flannel or something, and try to find a creative new way to wear that trend. Let me know what you guys think about this new check trend. Some of the best websites to shop this trend is like Topshop, which is a little bit pricey for me to be honest. Bershka, I don't know if a lot of you guys know about this company, under the same family with Zara Inditex, um, but I love Bershka. A lot of my pieces are from Bershka um, and they do ship to the US I believe and then lastly we've got our beloved Zara they have a full page on their website dedicated to this trend so definitely check it out if you're interested all right moving on to the next trend so we've got the scarf print. So scarf print is not going anywhere. And if you're like, what's scarf print? What does that mean? It's really just taking this silky satiny material, stuff that you would see, prints that you would see on scarves, like kind of a Versace vibe, but you've got these gorgeous scarves turned into button ups, turned into tops, turned into outerwear, but that's really gonna be the top section that you'll see that scarf print. I have a couple of pieces here that I wanna share with you that I already have. It's easier to wear this trend with these types of pieces. We have my gorgeous scarf print sneakers from Boohoo. Boohoo is so on the nose about these trends and they make it really easy for you to wear these trends. So this one comes in the black. They also have a pink colorway, which I love. They're so inexpensive for a pair of sneakers. But again, if you love that scarf print, 
Try it out, lacing it through your sneakers. If you already have this, these would, this would be like a perfect, easy DIY. I got it in a size four, size 37, which is what I wear. I'm really like a 36.5. Oh, there's like a little dust. If you like that silky satiny top, but you don't really like all the prints, I would go for like a silky satiny, whoop, it's stuck. I would go for like a silky satiny top like this one from Pretty Little Thing. Um, I know a ton of different websites do this top. Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Boohoo, Zara does some great ones. This one desperately needs a steam for sure. But um, I've worn the black version of this a ton already. Um, she is so easy to wear. I wear it like kind of more of a deep V look with a lacy cami underneath. If you're really into the red checked print or the yellow checked print or whatever, the checked print, so like this is the perfect top to wear with like a crazy loud printed bottom like the checked print. This with this skirt together too would be really cute. Just having it cinched in at the waist with a little like belted bag or a belt. Um, just kind of having that like flashy silk satiny material peeking through. All right, so moving on to the next trend, which is animal print, but not just any animal print. We are talking leopard, okay? This we see every single year, but this year she is making a statement. She's coming in on our scars, our accessories, our shoes, our pants, our tops, our dusters, everything. For me, what I'm really looking out for is a leopard printed beret or like baker boy hat because I think that would just be stunning. I got this piece like years ago at H&M, which is amazing to me how you can find such inexpensive pieces with like the trend in it. There was a year where the leopard printed loafers were everything. Um, I think implementing it in your shoes. I have snakeskin loafers and I really want to get a leopard print loafer, but that's such an easy wear to wear the trend and not be wearing it like boom as your shirt or your dress. But I do want to get this in a silky cami style slip dress. This would be gorgeous as a slip dress with a little bit of a cowl neck. I've seen it before on Kelsey Simone's Instagram and I think it's just a gorgeous piece with a leather jacket over it would be everything. Or this in like a silky top, I don't know. I just, I love leopard. I think leopard is one of the best ways to make a fashion statement, but still stay understated because of all the colors, like the warm neutral tones in it. So anyways, I just have so much love for this print and I'm so excited to see everybody styling it up. Let's talk about the high school 70s, 80s, Stranger Things, um, that 70s show wardrobe. This varsity style high school in the 70s and 80s trend is just coming back really hard for back to school this year. I absolutely love Jackie's style in that 70s show. She is like a style icon for this trend. You remember those Gap inspired sweaters, those varsity letters? You'll see that everywhere throughout the stores, like a little section of just like a very Stranger Things inspired, a very like high school 70s and 80s inspired um, moment. And I'm just really excited for that trend because I personally love it and I think that like dad cut off sleeveless sweater vests you know what I'm talking about with like the chevron I think that is coming in hard for like the fall time I think it sounds kind of weird in your head but I think once you see it on and you see other people styling it you'll be like oh I love this trend I think doing one of those sweaters or those vests with like a collared top underneath it with like a little a-line skirt like this one here I wore this in my um, styling three tops, eight waist um, trend, but this just like totally gives me 80s flight attendant vibe. Um, I love this skirt. It's from H&M and I find that H&M does really good pieces that you can wear with these louder prints. Like this suede coat, I need, I need to show you guys this suede coat. This suede, suede coat is from H&M. It came in black in this brown seasons ago and this is like perfect for the fall. And I'm planning on doing like a separate fall jackets or coats um, video. So if you want to see that, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to do that video. This print here reminds me of the colorway you'll see in that um, 70s and 80s inspired tops. Um, you'll also see a lot of like neon knitwear. That's like a huge thing. If you're a neon fan, Bring it into fall, bring it into your knitwear. You'll see it with like the crazy like neon sweaters and things like that. Talking about neon, if you are like the IMG, the motorsport, the really hype 
trendy girl that wears like the dad shoe and like if you are that kind of girl this trend is going to be so up your alley so it's like the carhartt reflective construction worker girl um we've got that reflective tape on everything it's going to be all along your sleeves it's going to be all along the legs of your pants like i feel like vetements balenciaga off-white those are like the leading brands of the construction cargo pant like that look so really excited to see so many girls styling up that trend. Personally, it doesn't resonate with me. However, check out Amazon for amazing Carhartt stuff. So I was on Amazon the other day and I was like, hey, let me just look up Carhartt because I really do like that look, but I don't like all the reflective neon orange. I don't wanna look like one of those street cones. Carhartt actually has some of the most understated, really gorgeous pieces um, that are more like the neutral black, beige, olive green, those tones, but that silhouette. So you've got cargo pants in that, you've got jackets, you've got tops, you've got sweaters. Carhartt is actually a construction brand, but it's like the best affordable way to like wear the brand or wear the trend, but like not spend all that money. So check out Amazon because I am so excited to pick out a couple of pieces from the Amazon Carhartt men's section too. We've got the Western inspired cowgirl cowboy trend. Like we're not talking about the cow print, okay? I, mm, I hated that print. I really did not like it. And when I saw some of my absolute favorite bloggers wearing that trend, I was like, why? You know, I was just like, why? But we see it in the cowboy boots, the white color cowboy boots with a black thread, that Western inspired look. I just saw the Saint Laurent leather skirt in this gorgeous like cowgirl silhouette with like a belt going around it. Oh, so beautiful. We first saw it with that gorgeous belt on Kendall Jenner with like the double belt, like the double buckle belt. I've got a couple of shoes to show you that would really resonate with that trend. So if you're like me and you don't really wear the full cowboy boot, but you want like that kind of look, I guess um, I got these from Boohoo. Love these boots. Um, so the heels for the Western boot and the boots that you'll see in most stores, they're gonna be like kind of inverted or like curved in like this because a lot of those Western cowboy boots have this little curve at the end. Um, this one doesn't and personally I like that better, um, but that white boot for the Western boot is really on trend. If you're not into like that full on cowgirl cowboy boot, but you're looking for a good pair of boots, I would recommend booted mules. So these are from Charlotte Russe. I know, right? Charlotte Russe, like what? I go to the shoe every fall and winter. This looks so good with like a raw hem denim, um, jeans. I know a ton of different brands that are doing a mule style heel. It's not gonna be super chunky. I'm gonna try and find some dupes for these. Some of the last things I wanna mention for the fall is corduroy. It's coming back more in place of like our typical denim jackets. We're gonna see corduroy jackets in a gorgeous beige tone, a mustard tone, burgundy, and um, a blush pink, which I'm so excited for to see blush pink in our fall palette. I'm just, I love blush pink. Like it's almost like this, but lighter. We're gonna be seeing corduroy in our culottes. Oh, I'm honestly, I need a pair of corduroy culottes. Corduroy jacket with like a bigger sleeve. We're gonna see corduroy overalls. We're gonna be seeing corduroy um, dresses, like shift overall dresses too. So yeah, I don't, I don't personally have anything corduroy right now. That is something that's on my wish list for the fall time. I did purchase a couple of fall pieces recently from H&M and like other places. If you wanna see a fall inspired haul or a fall jacket, must-haves video then please let me know in the comments are you guys excited for fall to come around are you excited for all of these trends let me know what you guys think did i hit it on the nail am i so far off whatever you want comment down below let me know thank you so much for watching uh, this one's kind of a longer one but i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was fun for you or you learned something new if you did please 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 give this video a thumbs up it helps me out a ton don't forget to subscribe down below to my channel if you haven't already turn on the bell notification so you can be a part of the notification squad. And with that, I will see you guys all in Saturday's video. Bye.